Hey y'all, so welcome to my channel. If you're new and welcome back to my channel, if you're a returning subscriber, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and put on your post notifications. We'll hit the bell for your post notifications to be on whenever I upload. But um, I'm starting the day off right now. I kind of was just chilling. I did put a lot of laundry um, in the laundry machine, in the washer. So yeah, I did that. So right now I'm about to actually go get breakfast. It's actually like um what around 12 right now. So I'm going to actually go and get a muffin and a cappuccino. I would have made some coffee and stuff downstairs and just had some cereal, but I kind of want a muffin, a blueberry muffin, and a cappuccino. So that's what I'm about to do. And then um I'll take you guys along with the rest of my day. Okay, y'all. So I just got back from 7 Eleven. And if y'all have seven other rewards, use them because, well, it's a deal if you have, if you sign up for rewards. So basically you get any size, cappuccino, coffee, hot drink, whatever. So I got a jumbo and then the, the muffin. I have a blueberry muffin here. They package them up themselves. So I like that. Um, so yeah, and you get that for $2. So I got that. That's just my jacket hanging up in the bag. And then I got this little sausage. Um, I don't like hot dogs. I really don't. The only time I really eat a hot dog is if it's like grilled at a barbecue. Grilled with like, you know, some barbecue sauce, things such as that. But other than that, I only like sausages. So I got a Bahama Mama sausage. This joint look, he look dry. Yikes. <laughs> Hold on. Okay, y'all. Um, I might just do the muffin and the um cappuccino, so it's whatever. But I am still washing clothes and stuff like that. I'm gonna put a movie on, do a little bit of like work things, personal things. So yeah. Oh yeah, and also I'm doing my nails today. So for the week. So stay tuned for that. Bye and bye for now. We're making buffalo chicken style pizza, so we're going to, you know, char it up just a little bit, get a little grill on it, and then put it on a piece. So I'm going to let y'all see that when we do it. I'm just gonna do my nails. I'm gonna let y'all see a little bit of process, but I'm watching. I'm gonna watch Netflix, the um ultimatum. Let me know what you think about the show so far in the comments. By the time this has been up, I'll probably be a couple of episodes in. I think I'm still in the first episode. If it's good, I'll be a couple episodes in. But I'm on the first episode, and I did see somebody on TikTok say that it was really good. But I don't really go based off of, like, fan favorites. And there's been a couple of things that I've seen. Well, no, there's been a couple of things that I just haven't watched. Because it's like, I feel like they were overhyped. Oh, momento. But, yeah. I feel like they were overhyped. Like, um, I couldn't get into 13 Reasons Why I still ne have never watched it. I just haven't. I couldn't get into it. That first one, so I just never watched it. Euphoria. Now that's probably a show I probably just got actually just watch because after the, I think I skipped around. Like I think I saw the first episode or probably a part of the first episode, and then I remember seeing when Fez was like, "I can't give you any more drugs or something like that." 
to Rue, and she was like, you made me this way. I remember saying that, but I can't remember. I just know it wasn't enough to keep me on the show, or keep me watching the show. I, th I think, you know what? You know what I think? I think I more so enjoy a good comedy. Like, oh, if you guys have ever seen Psych, the show Psych, P-S-Y, C-H. Yeah. With, um, yes. The two main characters. I, they're, it's like just pure comedy. Like, I, I love it. I love Psych. And I heard they got new episodes, but that might be a lot. That might be something I conjured up in my head. I don't know. But I heard they have new episodes. So I'm definitely going to tune in if they do. Because they had, they had me laughing. They always had me laughing. But anyway, I'm going to set these nails up. Y'all going to see a glimpse. Um, I do have my computer right here. So I'm going to be watching a little bit of Netflix. Again, I might be putting on the ultimatum. But I'll let you guys see what I put on once I put it on. Okay, y'all. So, I did the nails. I just keep curing them for like 90 seconds. I swear this is like my fifth time. But I feel like the gel isn't really curing the best. I wouldn't really... Okay, so this is the top gel. The top coat. And then this is the gel polish. I wouldn't even really recommend it. I don't know. The Beatles, it's not really curing. Now, let me know if I'm probably doing something wrong and you guys, um, your polish was curing correctly. But I don't think I should be able to have to hit the 90 second button five times. And it's still not fully cured. I shouldn't be able to leave finger marks, like indentions in the nail. We used to fantasize about our biggest dreams. Y'all, I'm not even going to spoil it for y'all, but if you're watching the ultimatum, you're going to know exactly who I'm talking about. But I find it very fake how she literally was just in her little, what, confessional or whatever, her little private time. And she was just stating that this man doesn't make enough money for her. And look, she came into the part, the, um, the whole thing. She like, oh yeah, yep, we're going to do this and it's going to be great. And right when she get rejected by one of the men... Now, all of a sudden, she don't like the thought of her boyfriend on dates and this and the third. She is the one that gave the ultimatum. But you literally were just in your little confessional, whatever you were in, was in. I don't remember what she was doing, but she said, um, now, now I'm thinking about it. The person that she came with, she's saying the person that she came with doesn't even make enough money for her. Like she don't even know if she can marry him because she makes more money than him. Okay, so how do you go from that to now that everybody's about to decide who they're about to be, you know, quote unquote, married to for the next like three weeks or so. Now you doing this whole monologue like, oh my gosh, I can't stand to see him with somebody different. Like I love him and boom, 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 and blah, blah, blah. This man done proposed. Whole time he don't know. Everybody all emotional. Whole time don't nobody know that she over here in confessionals saying how she not even really you know feeling them because he she make more money than him and she her she wants her husband to make more money than her but he doesn't so you just did all that for what and then y'all y'all going did y'all see her face when she said it's the ultimatum um episode three when he asked to marry her Y'all saw her face. She was looking like, uh, like low key. Let me know in the comments what you think. Because I feel like, mm, I feel like she only having this energy now about the whole project because the one man rejected her. And he was like, I just don't find you attractive. Like at first he really did try to like, you know, just say it really calmly. Like, oh yeah, no, I just don't want to, you know what I'm saying? I don't want to move forward with this. And he was like, yeah, I just don't find you attractive. She was like, wow, that's rude. She even told the bull girlfriend that he came with, yeah, whatever, like, you know, res reservations you have, basically, definitely think on them. Like, why are you so mad? 
and her boyfriend over here like that's what i like so much that's what i like about her she just speak her mind the whole time you don't even know that she only speaking her mind because he just rejected her <laughs> this whole thing is uh it's sad it's sad for him i feel sad for him because when he look back at this part he's gonna be like wow she said she wasn't even trying to really marry me because i make less than her now you're on your knee third episode you want to marry somebody wowzers anyway um yo i'm about to get in the shower and i'm about to go to sleep because it's about two o'clock or one fifty one to be exact and i have work in the morning so i hope you guys enjoyed the video stay tuned for the next one make sure you like comment and subscribe see y'all